Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos' plan to deploy thousands of satellites into orbit are forcing a sector that has traditionally been cautious of partnerships to brace for consolidation. You have already guessed it, yes, today we are talking about Starlink satellites. Before we proceed, a big hello to everyone across the globe. If you are new here to our channel, we warmly welcome you and we are glad to have you on board. Make sure to check our other videos from SpaceX updates and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated from the very latest. Let's talk business. Musk has an initial estimate of the number of satellites that quickly grew as he planned to capture a portion of the estimated $1 trillion global internet connectivity market to aid in the realization of his Mars colonization vision. The Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, of the United States has granted SpaceX permission to launch 12,000 Starlink satellites. And the corporation has filed papers with an international authority to launch up to 30,000 additional craft. To elaborate on this, Musk's billions of dollars flowing into his Starlink broadband internet service are skewing the economics of space for companies like SESSA and the world's second largest satellite operator in terms of sales. Another of his mainstays, Satellite TV, is under threat from the expansion of streaming over fiber optic networks. According to data compiled by Bloomberg, takeovers, investments and joint ventures in the business have already surpassed 2020, with more than $3.6 billion spent on them so far in 2021. I'm sure everyone is talking to everyone, said Steve Collar, Chief Executive Officer of SES. Because space is primarily a fixed cost enterprise, the scale gained by consolidation can be monetarily significant. And, of course, we've seen some disruptors enter the industry. In an interview, he stated that can also be a trigger. Chairman Mark Dankberg stated that there is certainly discussion about mergers in the business. One of the reasons the consolidation would be to move more capital funding away from broadcast and towards broadband. This year, investors valued Musk's Space Exploration Technologies Corporation at 74 billion US dollars. Last year, Morgan Stanley analysts estimated that the Starlink accounted for four fifths of SpaceX's value. That would make Starlink worth approximately twice as much as the aggregate market value of the world's largest publicly traded satellite firms. Utelsat and SES were the titans, but now, in comparison to Elon Musk and Amazon's potential to invest in this business, they are very small and they do have the leadership in new technologies, said Kepler Chevrolet analyst David Curden. He believes Utelsat should merge with SES if the governments of the two nations can reach an agreement on control as they both face dwindling broadcast TV revenue. Satellite mergers have traditionally been hampered by corporate rivalries and political sensitivities. While the largest corporations were on the verge of merging in recent years, massive tie-ups fell through. In 2018, billionaire Charlie Ergens, EcoStar, launched a proposal for Inmarsat. France's Utelsat contemplated buying it as well. A combination of private equity and pension firms eventually bought the company. More funds are on the way, with SES and Intelsat SA set to collect a combined $9 billion for seeding airwaves for use by US phone carriers. The investors that bought Inmarsat in 2019 received $700 million in delayed spectrum payments last year, reducing the bar for them to generate a return on the $3.4 billion purchase price. The industry's collaborations have already helped Musk's UK-based rival OneWeb, which has launched hundreds of its own small, low-Earth orbit satellites and has worldwide airwave rights. It has attracted investors such as Utelsat and Ergen Hughes Network Systems. Intelsat attempted to purchase OneWeb as early as 2017, but it is currently stuck due to bankruptcy. Now, let us talk a little bit about satellites. Since June, SpaceX has not launched any Starlink broadband satellites. It turns out that this is due to the company's addition of lasers on the spaceship. Since launching a batch of Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit on June 30th, 
SpaceX has been tight-lipped about the constellation's future plans. With Starlink launches occurring on a regular basis in the first half of 2021, this pause prompted concerns. Gwyn Shotwell, President and Chief Operating Officer of SpaceX, addressed the break on Tuesday, August 24th, during the 36th Annual Space Symposium here. Right now, we're flying a number of laser terminals into space, Shotwell said, adding that SpaceX is trying to integrate lasers into all of its Starlink satellites. These laser terminals, also known as laser crosslinks, were installed on a batch of Starlink satellites in January 2021. These connections enabled satellites to exchange information and communication in various ways. With this technology, SpaceX anticipates that ground stations on Earth will no longer be required with each batch of satellites added to the constellation. This modification could allow satellite internet coverage to reach locations where ground stations cannot be erected. The recent launch lull, on the other hand, will not continue long. Shotwell stated in the conference that SpaceX hopes to resume Starlink satellite launches in three weeks. SpaceX continues to expand its Starlink constellation, which the firm hopes will be able to deliver internet connectivity to people all over the world, even in distant locations where there is now no dependable internet. Over 1,600 Starlink satellites are now in orbit, and the number will continue to rise. SpaceX has filed paperwork for up to 42,000 satellites for the constellation. However, Shotwell stated that the business is currently considering ways to avoid collisions and limit risks in orbit. Having an accident is the worst thing in the world, Shotwell said on Tuesday, adding that Starlink uses autonomous collision avoidance technology. SpaceX is working on bringing low-cost internet to remote regions, while SpaceX intends to eventually have as many as 42,000 satellites in the so-called mega constellation. The project's size and scale have alarmed scientists and amateur skywatchers who are concerned that the bright, circling objects would interfere with vistas of the universe. 60 Starlink satellites stacked together before deployment on 24th of May 2019. Right now, nearly 1,500 Starlink satellites are currently in orbit. SpaceX is continuing to build out its Starlink constellation, buoyed by a Federal Communications Commission decision on April 27th to approve a license modification sought by SpaceX. Rapid progression is undeniable when it comes to SpaceX. With all of this, we have come to the end of the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We appreciate your love and support for our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, guys. See ya.